Hey guys, it's another tea time uh, that we are going to have together and today I just wanted to share with you my favorite YouTubers uh, who I love watching and I've subscribed to for a while and I really, really, really enjoy. I kind of group them in um, sort of uh, categories uh, of the kind of content they create. So if you are looking to, to look into a particular category, perhaps that'll be helpful. And also, I want you to share with me which YouTubers you love. I, quite, I have quite a few here. So, uh, all of this is kind of skincare, beauty, fashion stuff. I'm not discussing my favorite book channels and all of that because uh, this, is, this is what my channel is about. So, we're going to stick, stick to the topic here. So, um, Lil Loves Makeup um, is one of the review channels that I really, really like. Um, she does a little bit of lifestyle stuff, but really she's a makeup review channel. She buys a crap ton of makeup or she's fun. She's just fun. I feel like I really want to be friends with her in real life. Then we have Michelle Twip, 1218. I really enjoy uh, her. I've been watching her for maybe six years already, so it's been a while. And she's a lifestyle blogger pretty much uh, with a bit of a focus on beauty and fashion, but she calms me down. She's just like this best friend girl that 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 uh, does a lot of jewelry videos. By the way, if you're into jewelry, she is Stella and Dot stylist, so she does a lot of that. Um, she does some sort of haul styling. She does a little bit of makeup, a little bit of skincare. She does a little bit of everything. She's a mom. She's a wife. She's just she's easy to like. Shelby Wilson. I believe she's a makeup artist. She does a lot of uh, really natural uh, looks. She does a lot of get ready with me's. Uh, she's very, very nice. She comes across very genuine and I enjoy watching her. Uh, that, the, the Tyla, if I'm saying it correctly, the Tyla. She does tons of foundation reviews. I like her demeanor. She's a sort of a Seattle cool girl. She's super fun um, and I really enjoy watching her makeup application. She kind of does go all out on makeup a lot, which I enjoy watching uh, her do. And uh, she does these series which are called Seven Days of Foundation. Um, currently, she's on this kick with uh, Accutane. So if any of you are going through that, uh, it's interesting to watch her because she's kind of in the thick of it at the moment and I'm sure she'll be filming a lot of Accutane related videos also. Her skin type is gonna be changing too, so uh, the Tyla, if I'm saying it right. Makeup TIA, she doesn't post as much anymore, but she's a, a pretty much a beauty lifestyle channel. She's the one who turned me into Bi Beauty. Um, she was raving about this Bi Beauty lipstick in the color pepper and I've purchased it and I didn't look back ever since. She's this beautiful redhead, very, very calming, very nice to watch. She has a, a super confident yet comfortable demeanor. She has this, this quiet way about her, um, very calming to, to listen to. I like her a lot. Makeup by Tiffany D. Makeup by Tiffany D is also a makeup slash uh, lifestyle channel. I like her a lot. I unsubscribed to her for a little bit because I just couldn't take the fact that she never finishes her sentences. Uh, it started being really irritating at some point, but then I resubscribed because I just find her such a nice, like genuinely nice person. Um, so, you know, her personality is great. She's very pretty. She's easy to watch. It's just, if you have a qualm about somebody not finishing their sentences and, and stopping in the middle of the sentence, then it can be irritating, but I resubscribed. I like her. I like her a lot. Then uh, we have two more of sort of beauty slash style um, slash bloggy type of YouTubers, and they're from the UK, the Anna Edit. I really like Lily Pebbles. I like a little bit less. I find Anna a little bit more relatable, but I like Lily as well. She didn't make my list of most sort of loved, YouTubers by me, but I'm sure it's just a question of what you like. Anna is great. I love her approach to makeup, to wardrobing. Um, I like her. She's, she's very relatable as well. She's very easy to like. She comes across as a super nice girl who doesn't take her, herself so seriously, which is very, to me, very attractive in a YouTuber. I don't want somebody who just like, 
you know, thinks YouTube is their life. YouTube is her life, but she just has fun with it and seems quite laid back. I really like her. And I covet the I covet the has the coolest uh, way of applying makeup. She she wears wearable makeup, but she's to me like in my mind the queen of bold lips. She can choose a bold lip superbly. I wish I could choose bold lips as well as she can. Uh, she's very beautiful. Uh, she comes across as a very nice person. She had a tough year, so um, her content did change a little bit. Um, and I liked her decluttering series. She decluttered quite a lot recently, so I like watching that vlogs. Her vlogs, I don't, I don't really love, but I barely, I, I barely watch any vlogs at all ever. So um, don't listen to me. Maybe you'll like her vlogs. I don't know. Then we have a couple of uh, gossip channels. <laughs> gossip channels is a, a very guilty pleasure of mine. I just find them relaxing and funny and I, I don't know I have a good time with them I don't necessarily believe everything that's being said but I do listen to a couple of gossip channels and most of them are rich lux and here for the tea here for the tea is very factual and um, she's way into finding receipts she comes across as a little bit of aggressive so if you don't like that she's not for you but rich lux is a comedy based gossip youtuber He's grown a ton since he uh, came on and uh, he has really, really fast growth, mostly because he's actually genuinely funny. He has a lot of physical comedy, um, plays this like ridiculous character and I enjoy him because he also doesn't take that stuff all that seriously and just sort of goes with it and has fun and you know, he comes across as a hilarious type of guy. Maybe he's super serious in real life. I'd be curious to know, Rich Lux, is he super serious in real life? Is he a serious person or is he as crazy ridiculous as he is on the camera? I like him a lot and I find he is probably my favorite gossip channel ever, ever because it's just easy to watch. It's easy watching. Um, for skincare, I watch a few people. Probably if you've watched my fall of uh, makeup, makeup boxes, um, you know, video, then you know Gothamista is one of my favorites. Gothamista is amazing. She has all the qualities of pretty much a skincare reviewer and a reporter. And she is quite serious, but she's very soft, not rough around the edges at all. Very intelligent. She, I imagine her is being quite an intellectual lady as well. And Carolyn Hirons. Carolyn Hirons is a uh, UK based YouTuber who does a lot of skincare and hair care, mostly skincare. I trust her opinions. I think she is a very good reviewer because she is a YouTuber that actually doesn't give a shit and just comes across very, very genuine, to me at least. Um, I feel like she has genuinely good recommendations and she knows her stuff. But Gothamista is still my number one for skincare. For polish, I have Just Face 90, Go Polish, I watch Holly Berries, I really like Yuki Sano. She has really great series for swatch my stash going on right now if you're into watching um people paint their nails which i'm into weirdly i'll probably make a separate video about like weird things i really love watching on youtube i'm not a, like pimple popper sort of person i don't watch that stuff but for some reason it just oh it's so satisfying watching somebody paint their nails perfectly it's one of those oddly satisfying things for me so uh, those guys do well. Some of them more, more of the lifestyle related uh, YouTubers that I love are Mary Kale. She kind of recently, maybe a year ago or so, went minimalist uh, or towards minimalism, I suppose, which is something that I'm doing. And uh, it's really, really uh, nice. I have very, very similar views on things as um, similar to her. Uh, I really enjoy her content, I enjoy the way she comes across, I enjoy the way she talks, um, and just her whole demeanor is lovely, she's a calming person for me to watch. Then we have Jenny Mustard, she's a Scandinavian blogger, she and her boyfriend run a podcast, I don't really listen to that very much, but I enjoy her fashion videos, her sort of home decor styling videos. She's a, not a hardcore minimalist, I wouldn't say, like not like I own six things to my name minimalist, but she's fairly minimalist and I enjoy her aesthetic a lot. It's not quite my aesthetic, but I really see where she's going with her stuff. If you really like minimalists, 
then Jenny Mustard should be somebody you check out. She has killer style. Um, another lifestyle blogger slash YouTuber is The Daily Connoisseur. This lady writes her own books. Uh, she's very inspired by French living, French style, the way Europeans carry themselves. Um, I'm initially European, so it's kind of funny to me how Europeans look at Americans and sort of crave their style sometimes, and Americans look at Europeans and they crave their style. So grass is always greener, right? Uh, so the Daily Connoisseur, she is very sophisticated lady. She com comes across maybe sometimes as a little bit snobby, but I enjoy that because I can occasionally probably be a little bit snobby too. So with her, I would hang out too and we would have tea parties. Like if she was a friend of mine, we'd have fancy tea parties with tiny cucumber sandwiches. That's what we would do together. Um, another sort of, I'm not sure which category I would put her in. She's definitely a makeup it's a related channel, so she's a makeup channel. She does reviews, she does crazy tutorials. Like, she wears a lot of makeup, she loves makeup, and she does special effects, she does crazy Halloween tutorials. Um, very, very talented, actually talented makeup artist, but with, uh, with her, because I don't wear insane makeup, it's kind of fun sometimes to watch people apply it, but like, I'm not into insane, crazy, creative makeup. I like looking at pictures, but maybe I don't really care to watch people apply it as much, but for her, I really like the rest of her videos. She has fantastic makeup videos and I recommend you check them out. She's very talented, but for me, I just love her rawness, you know, raw beauty Christy, right? She knows she's raw, she goes for it, she's herself, she embraces who she is. Um, she's very, very sort of open about her flaws and not being perfect and She's talking about weight loss in, in her videos, and she's talking about her life, and she's talking about all kinds of things, like mistakes she's made in life. I like her a lot for that. She's a real, real bee to watch. Like, I like her. Um, and I, I, I see myself, I guess, you know, I watch YouTubers and I see myself being friends with all of them. Uh, okay, two of the YouTubers who I really enjoy for, um, for a rather, fashion related videos. I'm looking and looking in YouTube on YouTube and a lot of people do like tons of hauls, less styling, really trendy stuff. Um, and the people who I really enjoy their style, I like that the way they pair things together, they treat fashion um, sort of in an intelligent way to me. You know, it's not all haul, 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 I'm buying so much stuff that it'll never fit anywhere and I'll never even take tags of things. I, I don't wear anything I buy. Um, Lizzie Hadfield, she's also a UK based uh, channel, she has YouTube, she also has a blog and I follow both, not a blog, I guess a, yeah, a blog. Um, I follow both, it's a fashion blog that she runs. She commits to her career, she's kind of like an influencer stylist, uh, her life revolves around fashion, she's very good at what she does. I enjoy her style, it's not quite my style, but I take pointers from some of the stuff that she talks about. She does these awesome series that have to do with uh, sort of buying in a, in a range of different price points, the same, the same clothing item. For instance, she'll like the most recent one she did, I think was on coats. Uh, so she'll buy just a bunch of coats from across the a spectrum of uh, financial investments, so anything from pretty cheap uh, lower end items to pretty expensive higher end items, and she does a comparison. And it's it, it's done in a very structured, structured tasteful way, um, and I, I find her reviews very, very useful actually, and usable, and uh, really, she's, she's quite relatable, although she's a fashion blogger and my life could be nothing further from. Uh, but I really like her and I think she has pretty cool laid-back style that I can also sort of take pointers from. Um, and another one is I think Australia-based um, blogger and her name is Mademoiselle. And she does fashion, styling, hauls, declutters, mostly fashion really, and she runs a blog as well. Very beautiful, uh, beautiful girl, very calming and uh, she has fantastic style also leaning towards maybe more cleaner style, um, you know, not super, super trendy everything. So I really, really enjoy her. I think she's really, really good. Um, then we have uh, a couple of really, really makeup-based um, 
makeup based channels and they're sort of makeup review based channels uh, Stephanie Nicole of course who doesn't like Stephanie Nicole she's probably the most trustworthy trustworthy youtuber who reviews makeup uh, I have absolutely no reservations about trusting her reviews and I think she's very knowledgeable she is uh, working in the beauty industry and she just is very uh, specific in terms of how she reviews things she puts a lot of effort into her videos she means what she says very, very nice reviews Jen loves reviews I like too she's um, in her 30s so a little closer in age to me as well as Stephanie Nicole also takes her job seriously she does sort of like a newscast um, she does a what's new in makeup every once in a while very frequent little tiny short videos and she does have this newscaster voice that <laughs> she just recently talked about so I thought it was really funny because I thought that for years I've been watching her for a while I'm like oh my god she, she somebody finally told her that she sounds like she should be running the news um <laughs> she sounds like a news anchor but she's really smart um i think she's very clear she thinks things through she does really reliable um really reliable reviews so uh, jen loves reviews really good and one of the classics also reviews based channel mostly it's emily noel Emily Noel was the first YouTuber I've ever started watching. It was so many years ago. She's been on YouTube for 10 years. I've been watching her for like seven, eight, I don't know. Uh, close to 10, so I probably started watching her close to when she appeared on YouTube, like within a year of when she appeared on YouTube. Yeah, probably around nine years. Mm. Steph, uh, sorry, um, Emily Noel is like a little rock of YouTube for me. In my mind, Emily Noel is like that youtuber that i wish we had more of she's still old school about youtube she still it doesn't really do a lot of sponsorships she doesn't work with a ton of brands she gets some pr but not like a huge amount i don't think and she's just she's just trustworthy she's lovely she has a wonderful personality that comes across on camera very very well and she she's just like awesome she's like an awesome person and you can't help but like her uh she also does maybe not as in-depth reviews as jen loves reviews does or of course stephanie nicole does stephanie nicole is very technical i bet she's a virgo like i will put money on the fact that she's a virgo um and she is super super clever uh and she used to be a newscast a uh, news anchor before she started her full-time youtube career She's lovely, likable, relatable, and she's still, I feel like she's still the same as she was 10 years ago. Like, I, I feel like she hasn't changed who she was, which is amazing with all the success that she's had on YouTube. So those are my favorite YouTubers. Let me know if you have some favorite YouTubers you wanted to discuss because uh, I'm always open to finding somebody new. Um, chances are I probably, probably had a peek at most sort of bigger youtubers um not everybody's your cup of tea of course some people you will like more than others because of who you are not because of who they are really um and uh but i would love some some other recommendations maybe i can find some more awesome youtubers that i really enjoy and you already know what i like because i just told you so let me know if there are any youtubers that i absolutely must watch that i haven't mentioned um and you don't think i've seen before that's it for today. I hope it was fun for you to listen to my little tea time chat about my favorite YouTubers and who I love watching the most and who I've been subscribed to for a while. Uh, and have a good day. See you guys later. Bye bye.